Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here, and Timothy told me that this battle is a must-watch, so I guess we have to watch it. Alright, so let's insert some banter here as we go through the generic opening startup for Fan Fridays this week. I'm trying to figure out how to do Fan Fridays next week, though. I might just do it on Thursday, or I might just kind of drop Fan Fridays for next week, because, I mean, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire is coming out. So we'll see how this one come, how this one ends up going. So, ooh, the Glyph score opening up against the Luxray. Just Earthquake? Faster than Luxray? KO! I feel like I missed something. What just happened? So, Rotom comes in. Uh, I didn't see a, a Toxic Orb either, so there's a U-turn. Offensive Glyph score shenanigans? I, I have no idea what just happened, but the U-turn goes out. And Zatu comes in. Oh, actually, that seems like a good play. If uh, Rotom's throwing out the Will-O-Wisp, or if it's going to be doing something else like that, there's the Magic, magic Bounce, Confused Ray. It works. So that's pretty neat. Magic Bounce kind of getting some work done right there. Bouncing off the status. Zatu going for the Psychic. And throwing in a lot of damage. So there's that. And Oh, wow. I... It, it, it just occurred to me, guys, that this is a mono team. This is a mono flying versus a mono electric. I kind of saw the Pokemon in the beginning, and it just clicked now. So there's the Heat Wave to finish off Rotom. Okay, so now I see why this battle is so important. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like a flying-type mono victory against an electric. And I guess with um, Gliscor, you know, fly, mono flying teams do have a pretty big edge against electric-type Pokemon like that. So, Satu's going to come in and keep bringing that Heat Wave. Psychic would be doing more damage, though. Not sure what to think. Electivirus is going to throw the Ice Punch. It's going to be a KO anyway. And super effective hit. Zatu faints. But yeah. So that's actually pretty interesting, then. So now we have Noivern coming out. Versus the Electivire. Boom Burst is just going to ruin Electivire's day. Not much is going to be done about that one. And Electivire goes down. So yes, um, Ampharos comes in next, alright. So, that's going to be a pretty big hit. I was, I was thinking like if there's a Draco Meteor or a Dragon Pulse and Mega and Ampharos Mega Evolves, that'd be pretty solid. But it throws out the Dragon Pulse. Weird, if, Mega, if Ampharos Mega Evolved, that would have been a KO because of the boost of damage and the stab. So I don't know what happened there. In comes Draco Meteor to try to finish off the Ampharos. And still low da like still not enough to KO. White Herb cures the special attack drop. Very interesting. And Wild Charge. What is this battle? Like Ampher I think Ampharos is going to KO itself from the recoil. Nope, just barely. <gasps> what is that? So now Mandibuzz comes in. Mandibuzz versus Ampharos. I'm not sure. Oh, Mandibuzz gets the outspeed. Yeah, Ampharos is pretty slow. And knocks off. Gets that static on it, though. And that's just a KO for Mandibuzz, but Mandibuzz is now in a very bad position. Going to get outsped by an Electric-type Pokemon. The threat of Gliscor really makes this rough, though. Okay, throw out an Electric-type Pokemon, and Gliscor's just going to eat it up. Or not, just sit in for that Discharge. Doesn't take too much, though. Mandibuzz being a ridiculous, I believe it's a ridiculous special defense tank. So it does pretty well. Is that going to be Leftovers? Leftover seals it up. Don't... I don't know what what's up with the moves, because, like, Thunderbolt is the uh, stronger move. Using Discharge instead, though, the Paralysis coming through, making it to where Mandibuzz can't roost or do anything. And now we have this Gliscor coming in. And Gliscor, it's just going to wall out from here, it looks like. If, uh... Yeah, Jolteon doesn't have anything to handle, it looks like. It's just going to throw out Electric-type moves. And then it's going to come down to the last Pokémon. Pikachu, yeah, and Pikachu, I'm not sure what Pikachu has as well. Brick Break. <laughs> it doesn't have many options, that Earthquake is going to be ridiculous. Still trying to figure out the item on the Glass Score. Because, I mean, I haven't seen Toxic Orb, he used U-Turn, so he couldn't have been Scarfed. Weird. Anyway, that's that's a Flying-type Mono Team win against Electric, and... I think it's mostly just because of that Glass Score. Like the Glass Score Zatu is a good combo. It looks like just because you can you avoid status and then you just go into anything against something that's going to be super effective against everything on your team. So oh, that's an interesting way to start Fan Fridays. We got a lot of mono type action. People like to see those videos, and then there's an interesting math strategy involved. 
I was talking with my brother, Ace Trainer Troy, about like uh, using a rock mono team and that they have some good ways to cover their weaknesses as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a nice day.